guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to fix this m size error anytime you are trying to open your vmix application so if you are trying to open your vmix application and you are having this error just stay tuned to the end of this video for you to get out to do this perfectly so without further ado let's get into the video guys So firstly, in order for you to clear this, you have to close your Vmix software. So you just click on the close and wait for it to close. So after the closure, then you go to your file explorer. From your file explorer, you go to this PC. And from this PC, you can local disk. Then from local disk, you click on this three dotted line. That's if you are using Windows 11. Then you come to option. So from your option here, you just have to turn on hidden files. So you just have to let it show hidden files and folder and if you are using windows 10 you are going to see the option by the side also in your navigation bar so once you've turned on hidden files then you should be able to find this file called profile data so you just have to open it so once you open it then you scroll down and look for vmix so this is vmix here then click on it to open it and you copy this file out so you just have to cut it so you just have to use Ctrl S or you right click and click on cut. So after cutting it, then you paste it on your desktop. So now guys, as you can see, I pasted it on my desktop. So on my desktop, now I just have to rename it from video 1 to just video. So I just have to right click on it and rename. Just have to remove the one and just name it video. So once you've done that, then you Ctrl X again or you right click and cut. Then go back to that same folder and paste it there. Place file. So as you can see now, guys, we've done this. So the next step for you to do is to go back to your local disk. Then on your local disk, you click on users. Then on users, you click on the particular user that is using the desktop HP. Then from there, you click on app data. So from app data, you click on local. So after clicking on local, then look for this folder called studio coast so once you find this you just have to delete the one with the underscore so once you delete it you open the other one and delete the file in it note if you have not turned on hidden files you won't be able to find this app data file and um, folder so you just have to make sure you turn on your hidden files on your desktop in order for you to be able to find all these folders so that's just how you can easily do that then you go back to open your vmix so by now we should have our vmix running fine and smooth okay so as you can see now guys i now have vmix running on my desktop so this is it i have vmix running so i can easily add inputs or do anything I want to do on my Vmix. So that's just how I can easily fix this error guys. So if you find this video very helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing tips like this. Thanks for watching guys.